Hi, this video is for Smarty RT, which is the list C piece for clarinet grade 3. Um, it's in the key of G major, which is shown by your F sharp there at the beginning. And it says swing. This indicates that you're going to play your quavers with a swing feel. Do, be, do, be, do, be, do, be, do. So give it a nice kind of jazzy flow. Um, so if we have a look at the first phrase of this, okay, we can see um, we've got some B flats and C sharps, and um, we've got some slurs, some staccato marks, and we've got an accent here. Okay, so our very first phrase, if we have a look at that, we're going to be playing quite loud, and we're going to be playing this rhythm, do a da. Do a da, do a da. Okay, now it's good to practice just that first phrase slowly, really, because there's a lot of material in there which gets repeated later on. So, if we just try that first phrase, starting on the A, and we're going to do it really slowly. Slowly is always best because if you can do it slowly, then you can speed it up and get it right. Um, then you don't have to undo mistakes later on. So keep your fingers nice and close to the clarinet. Start off on your A. And we're going to try that first phrase, the first two bars. I'm going to count in four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's the first phrase. Again, practice it probably slower than that, really nice and steady, but make sure you're getting the uh, staccato notes. Okay, now, this is the interesting thing because straight after the first two bars, you have uh, an answering phrase, and that phrase is played quietly. So we're trying to... Uh, change the dynamics around a little bit here. We're going to play this phrase nice and softly and the second phrase starting from the B flat on bar three we're going to go one, two, three, four. And if we put that all together the first two phrases one, two, three, four. Just going to move me out of the way slightly here. So um, let's see. We can now see the second line down here, starting off on our G, and the dynamic is loud, just like the beginning here. Okay. Now, again, we'll just do two bars at a time. So starting off from that G, we're going straight down to the B, and then we're tying. And we're going to go da 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 ha da da. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's bars five and six. Let's try that again. Two, three, four. Okay, and then. The next two bars, starting on the B flat, we're going to play one, two, three, four. Okay, so putting that all together from bar five all the way to the end of bar eight, we'll go one, two, three, four. Okay, now having a look from bar nine, you can notice the first bar, bar nine, is the same as bar five there, isn't it? Okay, and the next bar is also the same as the bar above. Okay, so this is where it gets slightly different. Okay, so 
what we'll do is we'll just have a look at this bit first of all from the G and it says quietly and notice we've got slurs again so we're going to go da 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 da, da. and then we've got these quaver rests which means that we're going to be playing on the and of beat one and the and of beat two and the and of beat three so that rhythm from that quaver rest we'll count one two three four one and two and three and four and ba ba da one two three four one Watch out for your F sharp there, okay? So, I'm going to play these two bars now. So, from the G, I'll count one, two, three, four. Okay? And now, putting that all together from bar nine, we're going to go nice and loud. One, two, three, four. Now, for now, I want you to practice from bar 13, but without the uh, grace notes. Don't worry about the grace notes. So without the grace notes, we're just tying the B flat there. And here, without that grace note, we're tying the E over there. I'll play it with the grace notes so you can hear, but I'll play it without first of all. So from that G on bar 13, we're going to count and we're going to be on the and of beat two there for that B flat that's tied over. And then that quaver is just gonna go at the end of the bar. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three, and four. Okay? And you'll notice that the rhythms there are exactly the same as the rhythms there. Also, the articulation marks, very similar. In fact, they're not exactly the same, are they? Sorry, the, uh, the rhythms are slightly different there because you've got a crotchet at the end and you've got two quavers at the end there. But it's all very similar, okay? So, from bar 13, we're going to play one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do that one more time. One, two, three. Okay, and then following on bar 15, very similar again, and we're going to go one, two, three, four. Those quavers are quite tricky there. As you can hear, I slipped up there, so uh, take it very slowly. But make sure you can get a nice flow to those, those quavers and, and then the rest of the phrase will flow nicely. Okay, now that whole line from bar 13, I'll play now. Uh, I'll, I'll put in the grace notes as well. This is something you can practice later on and perhaps I'll do another video about those. Okay, so from bar 13, we're going to go one, two, three, four. Okay, now moving on, bar 17, okay, we've got a nice little slur down to this B and we're going to go da, 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 okay, so from that G, one, two, three, four, now, the next two bars repeat, and the difference here, you can see, your dynamic changes every time. Mezzo forte, and then piano, okay? So, we're gonna go fairly loud to quiet, okay? So, we play from bar 19. One, two, three, four.
Okay, so again, what you might find is um, you just need to work on one or two phrases again and again just to get them to flow. Now, once you've got that sorted out, this here is the same as the beginning, but the only difference this time is these two bars. Okay, so these two bars, same as the beginning, you have a crescendo as well. Same as the beginning and then a slightly different ending. Okay, so you're going to suddenly change dynamic. You've played quietly and then you're playing loud here. So here we're going to go one, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, and just watch that quaver at the end. It's uh, from bar 25, our count is one and two and three and four and one, two and. Okay, now I'm gonna let this whole thing play through so you can have a listen and you can follow, the cursor will follow the music so you can see where the beat is and you can also hear where the beat is because I'll let the metronome play through as well. So have a listen. And, uh, and then you can practice it all and get it really good. Okay, bye-bye then.